In a land where cherry blossoms painted the landscapes and honor was a code etched into the very souls of its people, lived a young samurai named Hiro. Born to humble origins, Hiro's dreams were as fast as the open sky dreams of becoming a legendary warrior whose name would echo through the annals of history. From a tender age, Hiro's father instilled in him the teachings of discipline, swordsmanship, and integrity. Under the mentorship of his father, Hiro's skills flourished. His movements were like poetry in motion, and his determination burned as fiercely as the sun that kissed the horizon. However, fate is an unpredictable mistress, and tragedy struck when Hiro's village fell victim to a brutal attack by a rival clan. Amidst the chaos, Hiro's father fell, defending their honor till his last breath. This loss was a crucible that tempered Hiro's spirit, transforming his dreams into a resolve that burned even brighter. With a heart heavy with grief and a mind fueled by vengeance, Hiro embarked on a journey to master the art of combat. He wandered through dense forests, seeking wisdom from elder warriors, and crossed treacherous mountains to learn from legendary swordsmen. The trials he faced were as diverse as the landscapes he traversed, challenges that tested not only his physical prowess, but also his mental fortitude. At the peak of a mountain shrouded in mist, Hiro met a wise sage known as Kaido. The sage's eyes held a depth that seemed to pierce the very fabric of Hiro's being. Warrior, Kaido's voice was a whisper that resonated like the wind, vengeance is a path that can consume even the noblest of hearts. Seek not to extinguish the fire of anger, but to transform it into the fuel that drives you towards greatness. Kaido's words were a revelation, unveiling the unseen path that led beyond vengeance. Hiro's heart was like a canvas, absorbing Kaido's teachings, the art of channeling his emotions into strength, his anger into determination, and his pain into purpose. In the years that followed, Hiro immersed himself in rigorous training. He honed his skills, mastering various combat techniques and disciplines. Yet, he understood that becoming a true warrior required not just strength of body, but of spirit. One day, Hiro encountered a series of trials that seemed like challenges orchestrated by the gods themselves. He was tasked with traversing a forest teeming with shadows, where every step was a test of his instincts and intuition. He faced enemies that were not mere adversaries, but reflections of his own fears and doubts. Amidst these trials, Hiro encountered a fierce opponent who seemed to embody the essence of darkness, a warrior named Rizo. Their battle was like a dance of death, a symphony of swords clashing amidst the moonlit forest. As sweat dripped from his brow and breaths became like whispers in the wind, Hiro's determination blazed like a comet streaking across the night sky. With a final strike that echoed through the forest, Hiro overcame Rezo, not only as a warrior but as a soul who had conquered the shadows within. As Hiro's skills matured, he gained a reputation that rippled through the land like a wave. Tales of his prowess reached the ears of the nefarious Lord Erisher, a cunning and power-hungry nobleman who sought dominance over the realm. Intrigue wove itself into the fabric of Hero's story when Lord Erisher devised a stratagem. He sent a messenger with a challenge and invitation to a duel that could seal Hero's fate. The duel was to be held at the Forbidden Arena, an ancient battleground where warriors forged destinies with blades. Hero's heart was torn. He understood the risks, the intricate web of manipulation that Lord Erisher had spun. The arena was not just a battleground, it was a labyrinth of intrigue where alliances shifted like sand in the wind. As Hiro grappled with his decision, Kaido's words echoed in his mind the path of vengeance could lead to darkness. It was a decision that had to be made with not just his sword, but his heart. Amidst the dust and echoes of battle, Hiro stood at the center of the Forbidden Arena, facing Lord Erisher with a determination that burned like molten steel. The tension was palpable, a confrontation that held the weight of not just two warriors, but of destinies intertwined. The clash of steel against steel resounded through the arena, a melody of conflict that seemed to sing of the trials and tribulations both Hiro and Lord Erisher had endured. 
With every strike, Hero's heart beat in synchrony with the rhythm of his blade, a rhythm that held not just the notes of vengeance, but of purpose and honor. Yet, as the battle raged on, a twist unfolded a revelation that pierced through the heart of the conflict. Hero discovered that Lord. Arashur was not driven solely by power, but by a legacy of pain and ambition that rivaled his own. The realization was like a lightning bolt, illuminating the intricacies of their journey. With a final strike that resonated like a thunderclap, Hero emerged victorious. As he stood amidst the dust and silence of the arena, his gaze met Lord Arashi's a gaze that held not just animosity, but a shared understanding of the human experience, woven with threads of ambition, pain, and dreams. With the duel concluded, Hero's journey took a turn that defied his expectations. Instead of revenge, he chose to extend his hand to Lord Arashur, a hand not just offering victory, but the possibility of redemption and transformation. Together, they forged an alliance, vowing to rebuild the realm and ensure its prosperity. Hero's legacy transcended his victories on the battlefield. He became not just a warrior, but a symbol of resilience and compassion, a man who understood that the greatest battles were not fought with blades, but with hearts and minds. In time, Hero's name resonated not just in the annals of history, but in the hearts of those whose lives he had touched. His story became a tale told by storytellers, a tapestry of trauma, action, and adventure, a reminder that even amidst the most challenging of circumstances, the human spirit could rise like a phoenix, fueled by purpose and resolve. As the cherry blossoms continued to paint the landscapes, Hero's legacy was like a breeze that carried the fragrance of honor, wisdom, and the unbreakable spirit of a samurai who had transcended the hurdles of life, embracing a destiny that echoed through eternity.